is long, I can't hear you. All rise and stand. This is a sovereign, living, ancient, Al Moroccan, Moorish American court action. I am Sovereign Living Justice, Pauline Denise Ritchie, in Capitol Seminus Shonolo, in Red Inc., in Propria Persona Sujuris, in Propria Solo, and in Propria Heredes. My free chosen sovereign appellation is like Tajiri Bay. Can you not hear me now? Is long. We hear you. We hear you. It's long. We hear you. Okay. It's long. We are the Sovereign Living Justices in Capitalist Diminutio Nolo, in Red Ink, in Propria Persona Sujur, in Propria Solo, in Propria Heredia. Um, our pre-chosen sovereign appellations are in Capitus Diminutio Nolo, in Red Ink, in Propia Persona Sujuris, in Propia Solo, in Propia Heredes. I am Sovereign Living Justice, Pauline Dimitri, in Capitus Diminutio Nolo, in Red Ink, in Propia Persona Sujuris, in Propia Solo, in Propia Heredes. And my pre-chosen sovereign appellation is like Tajiri Bay, in Capitus Diminutio Nolo, in Red Ink, Propia Persona Sujuris, in Propia Solo, in Propia Heredes. We are the ancient, living, sovereign, Al Moroccan, original, indigenous, Moorish American, the ascendant of the great pharaohs of Kemet and of the ancient Moabites, the Canaanites. Our full faith and trust, our allegiance, our credit, and our energy are hereby vested in ourselves, for we are the people who are the original, indigenous, natural, divine, ancient empire state of Morocco. We are the de jure uh, Moorish National Republic Federal Government and the Article Three Moorish American Consular Court. Okay, one moment. Peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine air. Today is March the 17th, 1442, on the ancient moon calendar, 
1441 on the ancient sun calendar. Uh, 2020, uh, let's see, 2022 on the um, civil calendar or the ancient Greco-Roman calendar, and uh, 5782 on the Hebrew calendar, and 1443 on the Islamic civil calendar. All rise and stand. This is a sovereign, living, ancient Al Moroccan. Moorish American Court Action. I am Sovereign Living Justice, Pauline Denise Ritchie, in Capitus Dominic Shonolo, in Red Ink, in Copio Persona Sejuris, in Copio Solo, and in Copio Heredes. My free chosen sovereign appellation is like Tajiri Bay, in Capitus Dominic Shonolo, in Red Ink, in Copio Persona Sejuris, in Copio Solo, and in Copio Heredes. We are the sovereign, living, ancient, Al Moroccan, Moorish American, ascendants of the great pharaohs of Kemet and of the ancient Moabites and Canaanites. Our full faith, trust, allegiance, credit, and energy are hereby vested in ourselves, for we are the original indigenous, ancient, natural, divine, empire state of Morocco. We are the de jure Moorish National Republic federal government. We are the ancient Article Three Moorish American Consular Court and the Moorish American Consulate, Islam. So I want to uh, first say that if I don't speak to any of you, uh, or if I don't speak to all of you before our uh, March 20th and 21st, I want to say happy, 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 happy Moorish New Year to you. Islam. Our new year is coming up here shortly, and for that, we are grateful. Uh, secondly, hey, Pauline, what happened to Jeremore? He never comes on your Islam. calls. Where's Jeremore? What about Melo? What happened to all these people that used to be on here? All the Just a moment. Okay. Uh, let me. <laughs> okay. Uh, My line must be close to his. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Listen, we got some stuff to do today that all of this, yeah, we got stuff to do today. All right. Uh so I want to share my screen with you. Um, let me finish. We are at peace. We are one nation. We are one state. We are one empire. We are one God. We hereby exercise all sovereign rights at this time and at all points in time. Uh, and we did talk about the new year briefly. Um, I also want to remind you that when you are sending out your writs and affidavits um, to please make sure um, that when you send them out on the address labels and everything, you're speaking to the office. You're not speaking directly to uh, any uh, custodian. You're speaking to the office, okay? So it's always going to be the office of office of whomever it is, okay? Office of the chief justice or office of the King County Court, office of, you know, it's, it's always going to be the office of, okay? It's not going to, you're not going to send anything as if you're speaking directly to uh, any of them because we're not speaking directly to Okay, um, just one, one moment. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. So can you still hear me, everyone? It's, uh, it's, uh, Indeed. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I, I again I apologize for the for the issue. <laughs> So uh, I want to share the screen with you. Um, let me know if you can see this uh, screen share here. Can you see the screen there? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, so again, I want to remind you to, that, that we're not speaking to John Doe, the custodian. Okay, we're speaking to the office of, and we're speaking, in, this is any time we are sending out our command, and we'll give you uh, an example of that today, which is actually not going to be just an example, it's going to be the real thing. And uh, we, we want to take a vote on it uh, and just uh, agree that this is what we want to do. Today we're going to do our first appropriation, okay, from the Treasury. And... Um, I know that that's why we are having the sound issues and things like that that we're having, uh, but it's okay because um, we're still going to do the work, and nothing is going to stop us from doing what we came to do. Uh, thank you all for waiting while we <laughs> work through the energies of, of, of the sound issues. So um, many of us, almost all of us have uh, had issues with things like cell phone payments and things like that. So um, that has been one of the main things that we've heard is things like cell phones, domiciles, conveyances, and uh, utilities and things like that, and groceries and getting the things that we need. So as a nation and as the state and as the government, today we're going to appropriate. Uh, the first appropriation that we want to do is, the, uh, is for cellular service. We're going to pull directly from the Treasury this week for that. And when we do that, it has to be done um, together. We have to do it together so that everyone can uh, exercise their sovereign right uh, as a state to get the things that they need, okay? Uh, so this demonstration is one where we make an appropriation by mandamus, one of the 13 great writs, because we've set everything up already where we set up the treasury, we, we have our own money, we have our own everything. And so, uh, and we've gotten the, uh, the, the lower witnesses in terms of the, the lower court here that we have said are constitutional, okay? So according to the, everything that we're doing is enforcing the Constitution on the system and on the subject and, and on the custodians on our land, okay? So, um, I want to introduce uh, I want to introduce the the document, and I want us to uh, agree that this is what we want to send, or if we want to change something about it, or if we want to um, however we want to do it. Okay, um, but I wrote it up based on you know of course inspiration from the ancestors and also um, looking at the law. Okay. And this is, this is the way that appropriation is done, okay? The treasury had to be set up. We had to have our own money. We had to come together as a state and place it on the public record that, yes, we are the state. Um, and those, those things have all been documented. We had to reintroduce the gold standard, and, and it really wasn't reintroduction. It was just activation of it in our rightful status, you know, from our proper you know, state and, and, and is state. And so um, I want to introduce uh, the document that is going to put it on the public record uh, that our cell phones 
and this is one this is just one that we're starting with as a demonstration here. Uh, it is the real thing. We are putting it forth. And so once uh once we read through it, we will um vote on it and if there are any changes that need to be made in this legislative session and this congressional session and uh then we can we can make those changes if necessary. Okay. So um I'm gonna bring that document up. And here's the thing, I know that we have done this document correctly. I know that we've done everything that we are supposed to do with regard to uh to this demonstration, so let's let's just bring it forth. Okay. Okay. So this is a public service announcement and I'll make this public service announcement again once we once we do the voting on it and, and all of that. Um once we finish this session we'll make a public service announcement about uh what ha what we've done as a nation. And um, you know, I'm speaking as if it's already done, but it's it's not done until we vote on it. And 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 we agree on it as a people and as the state as the Congress, as the nation, we're the Treasury, we already know that. And so um, this public service announcement, it is a public cellular phone service appropriation proclamation. The appropriation number is 999 and uh, this appropriation number, the first nine numbers is the Treasury, it is the overarching account number for uh, our state and our nation and our government. And then 420317 is the date that this proclamation is being put forth, okay? And as always, we start our proclamations out with our um, sovereign court action language because this is a court action uh, done by the people who are the state, who are the nation, who are the government, and the ancient heirs and beneficiaries as well as the trustees, executors, administrators, etc. of the vast estate. Okay. So it says here, Whereas, effective, not pro tunk and immediately, we, the people who are the sovereign Moroccan Empire State, do hereby appropriate the following cellular phone services, which are de minimis fringe benefits from the United States Treasury, according to the Constitution for the United States, 1789 and 1791, Article 1, Section 9, Clause 7, which states that, no money shall be drawn from the Treasury, but in consequence of appropriations made by law and a regular statement and account of the receipts and expenditures of all public money shall be published from time to time. Said benefits shall be appropriated in the sum certain amount of $10,000 or less per annum or per year for each cellular phone for each properly identified Al Moroccan Moorish American and for each of their subjects, which includes prepaid highest quality wireless cellular service, 5G and above, and the G is a lowercase g, so it does not mean anything harmful. The highest quality cellular phone technology and all accessories to include all replacement services, um, and here I'm going to put insurance, insurance and repairs. Proper identification is by way of photo identification cards with one five-pointed star on the front of the photo identification card. And uh, that is in alignment uh, with the um, Real ID Act. Um, and actually the Real ID Act was actually getting in alignment with our ID cards that we had already begun issuing. 
Uh, it says further, proper, uh, proper notification and due process for law, for this law, has been established on the public record by the state to include government certified mailing affirmed received seven and the number of that certified mailing is 7021-2720-0002-7107-9777 as dated below and we will show you that shortly. Also, proper notification and due process for this law has been established on the public record by the state where Postmaster General delivery as stamped below to King County Court, Pierce County Court, Snohomish County Court, and Thurston County Court. They have all been notified and the stamps will be shown below. Also, notice has been given to agents and that notice is also to the principal. Notice to principal is also notice to all agents. Additionally, we have discussed and voted on the mailbox rule, the posting rule, and Federal Rule of Civil Procedure Title V, Rule 4 for uh, notification as well. The following offices for the CEO cellular phone service uh, are obligated to properly record and obey this mandamus writ as commanded by God and issued by the state as we are the chief executive officers for. And then we've listed here quite a few, actually all of those that were listed as uh, cellular service providers on our land. So there's a uh, contiguous U.S. Uh, and U.S. being, uh, again, we've taken command of all the lettering and all the naming and all of that. United States is in red and all lowercase letters, that's us, that is the Moors, and the different states of the Moors Empire. Um, Alaska, which is Al-Aqsa uh, from ancient times, Puerto Rico and U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam and North Mariana Islands, American Samoa, uh, and then also any that have been changed, merged, or acquired uh, by other cellular services. So, um, and then all agents, principals, heirs, assigns, and any and all derivatives thereof. Uh, the link to this list, if you want to take a look at this list, uh, I'll put the link to it in the chat. so that you can ensure that the service providers that you um, utilize are who are provide who are serving you because they're not providing the service we provide the service but who are serving you are listed on that list uh, we do I'm pretty sure we got all of them um, I, I did look through the list and ensure that all of them were present and showing on the list um, but if you don't see your service provider on the list, uh, you can let us know or put a proclamation out that says the same thing as this one. And this one will be under this video on YouTube at Light Kajiri Bay Channel, um, so that you can, um, so that you can put, add your service provider to it. Now, uh, these are the stamps and seals that we have on the record from the courts that we mentioned. They are constitutionally inferior to our sovereign Article III court. However, they are in alignment with our court. King County Superior Court, uh, Thurston County Superior Court, Pierce County uh, Court, and also uh, it's a little bit not readable here, but you can still see it, Snohomish County uh, court. We've notified them all of our status and all that we're doing. Uh, and then this is uh, Office of the Federal Reserve. Uh, the servant, Jerome Powell, has been notified as well. Uh, and then we have many, 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 many uh, delivery receipts 
uh, which we will be happy to actually we'll go ahead and show those uh, delivery receipts as well. Um, uh, let's see if we can get all of them. Um, yes, I want to pull all of them up at once. Islam? Islam. This is Kamau Bay. Uh, we're here in Eastern Washington uh, Territory. I wonder, does um, that apply here? Do we add those to the list? Uh, how is that handled? I yield. They are all, uh, this, this applies to everywhere on our vast estate. Everywhere on our vast estate. All lands. And then the more that are at UK and the other territory, can put the same thing on the record, but again, it applies to all those lands as well. Okay. Here's so on. Thank just you. because just because those uh, servant courts uh, are here, our land doesn't have any borders when it comes to the law. Okay. So um, this applies everywhere, and when the people agree the way that we've been voting and doing the things that we're doing. Again, it applies to all territories, all lands, everything. Everything that has to do with us, it applies to, to all of that. Okay? So that no one, no one is left out. Okay? Um, Islam. Um, I was looking through the list, and Cricket Wireless is a subsidiary of AT&T. But I don't see it listed on the list, Cricket. They are uh, on the list at AT&T. Um, in fact, I'll go to that page right now, and um, and we can show you where that is on here. Uh, but AT&T is on there. And it, it says AT&T and any that have merged with them, any that are own uh, are you know under their uh, AT and T uh, servant capability, okay, um, that's on that page. It says AT and T and any any that have 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 uh, mer that they brought under their servant capability. Do okay. you see AT and T on the page? I do. Um, I have one okay. more quick question. You might address it, but now, now that we've done this, and I'm sure we're all gonna yay on this one, but this vote. But then, how do we use this to our um, resources? Okay. So what we'll do is each each one of us. Um, just one moment. Each one of us. So I'm gonna print this off because I I have to use it myself. Um, each one of us will take this um, document and either mail it or carry it in. Now, I was, this is the way that we've always been doing things. We mail it off first, and then we keep a copy of the, the mailed receipt. Make sure that it says Office of the CEO or Office for the CEO of or you know of that of the of the uh, servant provider, okay, the servant provider. Um, and then once you mail it off, you take an actual original copy of this in, stamped and sealed with your right red thumbprint. Um, and then for those who have, um, for those who have. Stamp to seal, go ahead and stamp and seal your copy of this document and take it into the carrier. Let them know that their corporate office has been notified and that they are to connect with their corporate office so that, uh, and then give them the, 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 um, either this sealing number right here, this number, uh, let's see. You can give them this information right here, certified mailing. This this one has been sent to uh, Jerome Powell, who is the custodian uh, at the Federal Reserve. And now, hear me, hear me, 
closely about the Federal Reserve because we've talked about this before. Most of you already know that we're not contracting with any corpses or corporations, okay? Uh, when we say Federal Reserve, we mentioned in here the de minimis uh, benefits. We're going to look at that document. So that's the IRS document that says we're the original IRS and we're the original Federal Reserve, okay? Uh, so this document, you take it in with your fiduciary document, and the fiduciary document says that you are in control, that the state, because see, all of this is state property that we're talking about, um, that you're in control of of the capital letters that are used. So if they give you documents, you know, uh, they give you a receipt and it has black ink on it, your fiduciary document will cover that. Take your red or blue pens in with you so that um, in the event, and, and you shouldn't have to sign anything, but in the event that you do, make sure that you give them, when, whatever you sign, you give them a copy of your uh, fiduciary document with it. They shouldn't be asking people to fill out applications or anything like that. Um, your fiduciary document should cover that. But in the event, whatever they present, okay, whatever it is, let your fiduciary tell them that the only way that you'll autograph anything is they have to keep the fiduciary document with whatever that is, okay? And I'll be leaving a copy of my fiduciary document with them so that they can discuss it with their corporate office. And, again, all corporations are under the moors. We've leaned all the fraudulent ones, and we've put everyone on our fiduciary document who was previously under the United States Corporation Company, the dead one, we put them, we put the living resources, not the dead people, but the living resources, we put those living resources, they've been nationalized. And that's all we're really doing is we're doing the same things that those doing business as Fidel Castro and, you know, um, Qaddafi and all of them, they were trying to nationalize resources that don't belong to them. And this is how I know that all of those resources over there are ours too. We're the only ones who can nationalize resources. And it has to come from this landmass here. We honor those who were trying to do that, but we're not, we're not bad-mouthing them. They were trying to actually send us signals even at the cost of their lives. They knew it had to be done here, but they were trying to assist us in knowing how to do it when we woke up. So uh, we're doing that today, starting with this proclamation. This is a public service announcement. And by public service announcement, we know what that really means. It means that the servants need to pay attention and to obey and do as commanded. And more as we go in to, um, to put this uh, on the record, uh, again, because it's, it's on the record as of today, uh, but we're going to, again, mail this off. This will be going out by mail uh, uh, tomorrow. And But, again, we have to vote on it first in order for it to be valid, okay? And so um, all of the other territories, it applies no matter what land you're on, Japan territory, UK territory, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, China, um, the islands, it, this applies to all of those islands as well. So you can just download the very same document uh, and put it with your, you know, and do the demonstration as well for, for your services, okay? And um, we've already put Delarium in for the services, okay? and we're going to be sending that off tomorrow. The Treasury already has enough delarium in it already for this to, uh, for everyone to get what they need. And, um, you know, we're going to proceed with appropriations in this manner uh, as agreed upon by the heirs, okay? So um, I want to go back and, and put just a little bit uh, of light on some of the things that are in here. Uh, where the minimum fringe benefits are concerned, uh, talking about the Treasury, uh, I want to bring up the document that we sent out because we've given them plenty, plenty, plenty of notice on these appropriations 
that we are doing. Okay. Uh, the, the, let's see. Um, here, let me show you that document. Okay. Um, here, let me make that a little lower. Okay. So we have given everyone, 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 plenty of notification that we were going to begin appropriating ourselves to Treasury because that is our right, that's our sovereign right. Um, let's see. And can you see the documents on the, on the screen? It should say invocation for all sovereign creditor rights, uh, credits and benefits. Uh, this is the Internal Revenue Service document that we put out. And this is, it's been over a year now that, uh, that they have had, uh, the time to get ready and to put things in order so that as we begin appropriating the Treasury that, um, that they would have everything in order to do that. Um, so where de minimis fringe benefits are concerned, First, let me show you where we have stated that we're the Internal Revenue Service. Here it is right here on the document. It's in red in all lowercase letters. We are the sovereign, universal, original, indigenous, natural, divine, internal revenue service. We're the United States Federal Reserve. Here it is right here in writing, uh, and they're well aware of that. We are the United States Treasury which is backed by gold, silver, precious metals, and uh, land and rare earth minerals. We are the International Monetary Fund, right here. Uh, we are the Bank for International Settlements. We are the natural, divine, the sovereign, universal, original, indigenous, natural, divine, United Nations. We're also the United States. Uh, and that's at the top of all of the documents that we have. If you look here at the top, United States of America, all of that is in red and all lowercase letters because we were that before anyone else was that. And then here in the document, uh, it says we are without the United States of America, and that's the black dead one that we put in the bracket. We're without the United States Corporation Company, the dead one, and we're without any of their agents, principals, heirs, assigns, and any derivatives thereof, okay? Um, so this document uh, will be under this video as well. It's, it's been under the last quite a few videos that we've done, and when we initially did this document, uh, we put it out uh, under the videos as well. This document also has the, it includes the codes for creditors, for creditor bank accounts, for um, IRS creditor codes, uh, and we actually took the time to look these codes up and to apply them so that we are able to use them. Um, and it list the section that all of the creditor codes come from. And then where, and here are some more of the master file credit credit codes for us. Um, and the codes are listed there, so anyone wanting to look those up can pull up an IRS manual, and you can look these codes up so that you can see 
where we have the authority to do these things when uh, when all of the coding is in place for um, for the credit. Okay, uh, 1099A and 1099 plus original issue discount proclamation and command. All of this is contained within the IRS uh, document. It's been witnessed by the lower court, uh, and it was sent with um, the documents that were received by the custodian, Jerome Powell, or Powell, comma, Jerome, um, and they have autographed it and sent back that they did receive them. And um, that's when, and this is the document that when we sent out uh, when we initially sent this document out, it took about three or four months, and we started seeing changes to our bank account. Remember when I told you they started putting everything in red? Uh, the debits and things were, 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 they went from being in black to blue, and then they went from being in blue to red. And um, that is the way that credits are noted, okay, credits that can be claimed. Uh, we've shown you where any, for example, the 1099 documents, the 1099A, the 1099OID, and the A in our document stands for acquisition. It does not stand for abandonment because we're not abandoning our estate, okay? Uh, that has to be made clear for those more that are doing 1099A. It, it must say 1099 acquisition and not just 1099A. You have to put that out, write that out so that there's no mistaking because I believe that that might have been one of the initial mistakes that was made um, uh, when our ancestors first started going to sleep is, is, is not spelling that out. You have to spell it out or they're going to cast the spell that they want to cast on it. So um, here at De Minimis Fringe Benefits, it says here, Sovereign De Minimis Fringe Benefits. Whereas a sovereign de minimis fringe benefit is one which is of a minimal value and is used frequently, and again, this comes directly from the IRS manual where creditors are concerned. It says frequently and is of such a small value that accounting for said benefit is unreasonable and impractical. Sovereign de minimis fringe benefits include items such as copier and printing services, entertainment events, holiday gifts, meals and transportation expenses, indemnity factor insurance for all who are part and parcel of their sovereign Moorish government, up to 10,000 sovereign gold back credits. Uh, and again, this is the indemnity factor for, for these fringe benefits. Uh, flowers, fruits, books, gifts, etc., provided for special circumstances. Uh, cellular communication devices used primarily for sovereign government purposes items with a value exceeding 10,000 sovereign credits shall not be considered de minimis. Doesn't mean we can't have them, it just means they're not considered de minimis fringe benefits. But what we're doing today is de minimis fringe benefits for the benefit of each heir, okay? So we've been doing things as individuals in the past, and you know, Morris have been trying to get benefits, get benefits, but you can't get them uh, unless you're together as a state, because uh, the state is the property, is the manager or governor of all property, and in this case, our state is the govern government and the governing state of all property. Uh, for our intents and purposes, um, for the things that we need, our state is governing the property, all property. So, um, and that is by vote of the people, okay? And the people are, is, is us. It doesn't take, you know, 50 million of us. It just takes some heirs who've decided that, yes, we're going to come together and we're going to exercise our sovereign rights. We have sovereign rights. We're going to vote. We're not going to be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We're going to get this done. And that is why we're here. That's why we're doing what we're doing. And um, it is our intention and our right 
to make sure that everything that we do, we do it together and we continue to gain the access to the vast estate that we know that we all deserve. Everyone deserves it. Okay. Uh, so, and then this mentions cash. This, that was the last part. Sovereign lawful cash provides no ministerial duty to account for it and is not a sovereign de minimis fringe benefit. Um, so this is where we have um, exercised these rights as the creditors to all the nations at Earth. Uh, the lower courts have witnessed it, as you can see here on the screen, and there was no rebuttal at all from the lower court. They, uh, uh, the witnesses there, uh, no rebuttal whatsoever. And so um, we have, are put, placing this on the public record uh, uh, once we vote on it. Uh, are, is there anyone who sees any changes that need to be made to uh, the mandamus document? So let me put that back up on the screen so that we can take a look at it again uh, and then place a uh, competent sovereign vote on this document. Yeah, Koba Lee here. How does it title to rule five tire? Uh ask again nobility. Title to the title. Yeah, title two, I think it's called um, Federal R Rules of Civil Procedure, Rule 5, title two, Rule 5. Okay, so Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, Rule 5, thank you for asking that. On our fiduciary documents, we discuss the all caps name and also, or, or actually the all caps in legis, which is a cre creation for the law. Uh, we, that and the in capita seminutio minima instrument that we use. Okay, so is everybody familiar with what we're referring to? It's the not all a, caps on the fiduciary um, document. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now the screen just came back because it was black for like a minute or two. Okay. Um, let me bring up the fiduciary document because that's a great question where he, his question is, is uh, what does the federal rules, is that correct? What does the federal rules, rules of civil procedure title uh, come in at? Where does that come in at? This is so great. Right. I'm so glad you asked that question. Okay. Let me bring up the fiduciary document so that you can see exactly what that means. Now, the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure is for citizens. We know that, right? So we are governing those instruments that are on that subject level. Okay. So the the Let's look at the fiduciary document so that we can see, because uh, this is this is this is important that we know who's actually getting the benefit. Okay, we're getting we're going to be ut utilizing the benefit. We know that, uh, but the cell phone companies and the corporations they work by capital letters. Okay, that's what they use capital letters. Okay, so let's look here at the fiduciary document. Is the fiduciary document showing on the screen? Yes. Islam, okay. yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank it you. is. Thank uh, you. And I apologize that I have to keep, you know, keep asking, can you see this and do you hear me? But you, you all know how when we get busy on this stuff, things sometimes, uh, we just want to make sure everyone can hear and see. So um, on the fiduciary document, and you can see here that the lower courts have witnessed it, it says here uh, that the fiduciaries, which is all Moors who place these documents on the public record, 
affidavits permitting the use of the state of Morocco sovereign credit. Okay, so as a state, see, states use their their credit as a state. Okay, to make it so that everyone in the state gets what they need. Uh, so each fiduciary has the authority to use sovereign credit, the state sovereign credit. Who is the state? The state is each one of us together, all of us together. Uh, affidavit of credence, affidavit of advice, affidavit of mark and reprisal, affidavit of patent, affidavit of testamentary, affidavit for bills of attainder, affidavit for international bills of exchange, and that's what, you know, and then all other judicial banking affidavits in affidavit format, permissions and legations and delegations. Uh, this is also including more sovereign delarium and all of that. So more sovereign delarium can be used as money. It can be used as a bill of exchange. It can be used as uh, 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 an affidavit permitting the use of credit, of the state credit, okay? Um, and so where the, all, where the federal rules of civil procedure come in at is, for example, I will be placing this document on the public record as well, uh, in, right with everybody else. And um, the cell phone companies, we know that they use capital letters in their documentation of what they're doing. And so the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure outline what, can, what we can do with these all cap names and these uh, these insligates rather, and the uh, ward of the state, Pauline Denise Ritchie in Capitol Demnu show minima and in black monochrome font is a ward of the Empire State. Pauline is it? I'm here. This is me. I'm here. But on paper, by affidavit, the Empire State of Morocco. Uh, is the state of which Pauline Denise Ritchie in Capitalist in Lucio Minima in Black Monochrome Font is, is, is the, is the ward. This is the ward. And then this right here is the corporation. Pauline Denise Ritchie in all capital letters, uh, in Capitalist in Lucio Maxima and in Black Monochrome Font or blue or green or yellow or orange or purple or wherever, whatever color, is a ward of the Empire State of Morocco. So we that gives us the state control over those in those uh, instruments. Okay, and so where those instruments are concerned, we use the federal rules of civil procedure to uh, to put the law forth and get the credits that we need and all of that stuff. However, it's coming from the excuse me, the fiduciary for the state, which is us. We're the fiduciaries for these instruments, okay? So you're the fiduciary for your instrument. All of these instruments, you are the fiduciary for yours, okay? And then um, let's look at that federal rule of civil procedure because I want to show you what that says and the reason why we referenced it. So let's see. Okay. I'll put it here on the screen so that we can see what that looks like. Okay. Federal Rule of Civil Procedure. Now, we have rewritten it so that we get to determine what it means. Okay, so no state courts, no, they're all done. They're decapitated. So Federal Rule for Civil uh, Procedure. Civil means contract. Okay, civil is actually a Latin word. And it means contract. And that's why we had to not claim civil rights 
and all of that stuff for our living bodies. There are no civil, we don't claim civil rights for our living bodies. We have sovereign rights for us. These instruments will be governed by us. Um, and then if there's any, if, let's say if there's a contract issue, as we govern these instruments of Pauline Denise Ritchie in capital letters and Pauline Denise Ritchie in capital diminutio minima, media, maxima, et cetera, uh, if there's any contract dispute, then we can look at the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure for the all cap uh, uh, name for the insulicus, the creature or the creation, rather, uh, for the state. And it is governed by these. Now, this Federal Rule for Civil Procedure, Title V, uh, Title II, Rule V, it talks about commencing an action, service of process, pleadings, motions, and orders. Well, this is what it says, non-electric fi electronic filing. And again, we speak by affidavit. That's why we have to do the things that we're doing. A paper, and they say a paper, a paper is because they not, the, 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 the corporations only exist on paper to include Ours, but our, our corporations that we're the sovereign CEOs of only exist on our paper. They don't exist on anybody else's paper. So we have to speak by affidavit and say what happens to them and speak by court action and state what, ha state what happens to them. It says here, a paper not filed electronically is, is filed by delivering it to the clerk. That's A. So, Morris, um, if you have ever delivered a document, because we have video after video after video out there on YouTube, where Morris, who may not have known how to all the way properly demonstrate their sovereign status, and some of them went home crying, some of them even got arrested at the time, some. But if you delivered a, an affidavit of your sovereign status to any of those clerks, those ones uh, to the office of the clerk, because the ones that were there, they were custodians and they knew it. But if you've ever delivered a document to the custodian in our clerk's office, because we're the clerk, we're the justice, we're the judge, we're all of that, if you've ever delivered one to them, it was delivered and filed. See, sometimes people say, well, 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 they didn't stamp it filed. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And they knew that. And that's why they would try and get you to take it back with you. Or they would say, we can't do anything with that. We're just going to shred it. They can't do any of that, and they know it. Because it says it right here. If it's delivered to them, it's filed. Okay? And that's why the fiduciary document is so important to get it out there. Because even if you're at, if, even if people are doing things like the DMV or the, um, or the grocery store, I don't care where it is, they're all custodian clerks. They were all acting as judges. Because that's why they would say you got to wear a mask. That's a judgment that they're trying to issue onto somebody. That's jurisdiction that they were trying to take. So we're saying, nope, no more of that. We're, we know we're the justices. And so here, the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, that's why I would tell, I would, I would, I would you know, if you go back and listen to some of, the, some of these uh, uh, judicial meetings that we've had and these congressional meetings that we've had, when I tell you about my experiences, I would tell you that I would put it on the counter and walk out. Well, if she, if whether they looked up or not, if it's delivered to her or him, it is filed. And that's why when we say, you know, like uh, on these documents, uh, on our sovereign affidavits, we stamp them with King County, Snohomish County, Pierce County, wherever, if it's received, it's filed. 
we didn't really even have to leave a copy with them because our court is, we just needed to put it on the public record. That means it's filed, period. Doesn't matter what they say and all of that, they're in subject status. But it's, it has been their job in the past to try and dissuade you from leaving your documents there. And some lawyers were waiting for permission, and, and if they didn't stand for the more got upset and went home, we still honor those, uh, those demonstrations more. They're still honored because you were standing for yourself and your state, your nation, your government. And this, these documents that we, we put here are not pro -tunk. That means now for then. So that's why it's important that we continue to stand together and continue to put these things on the public record, vote on it, uh, and when we vote on it, it it's the law. Here it says, uh, now it, B says to a judge who agrees to accept it, well, who's the judge? We're the judge. We agree to accept. Because remember, we talked about acceptance. Acceptance. There's nobody who has the authority to accept anything but the Moors. Everything is laid out there for us. We just have to accept it properly. That's what accepting for value is all about. Subjects can't accept for value. Citizens can't, and corporations most certainly cannot accept nothing for value unless it's governed in the proper creditor state by the fiduciary, which is all of us. Then Pauline Denise Ritchie in all capital letters and Capital Seminu Show Maxima can accept a, contra uh, a contract to, for, for cellular services, but only if the fiduciary says she can, because the fiduciary has to be a creditor. And then it's the state's credit that's getting Pauline Denise Ritchie the uh, in capital seminu show maxima and media what she needs. And I say she because those are living instruments. They have a gender for, for us. They are of the feminine matriarchal energy. So um, it says here also, again, n no more, we have to know that we're the judges and justices. And then it says here, by a represented person, generally, generally required. That means that there's some leeway there, okay? Exceptions, a person represented by an attorney must file electronically. Let's stop right there. They already know that we speak by affidavit. They know that. And they're saying that if there's an attorney involved, Attorneys, can, you can only do it electronically, and you got to do it the way they say do it because attorneys are not valid when it comes to the Moors. And I'm not bashing any Moorish attorney, but what I am saying is you can read it right there. They have to do it that way because they're representing someone, and no one represents the Moors. We said that over and over. We can do We got this ourselves. We have it. We're competent. It says, uh, so we can, we can stop there with that. It says, unless, unless non-electronic filing is allowed by the court for good cause or is allowed or required by local rule. Well, who's the court? See, we have to know who we were in order for this stuff to, to actually take hold, be valid, and us put it forth. And then here, uh, it says by an un unrepresented person, when allowed or required, a person not represented by an attorney. A person not represented by an attorney is Pauline Denise Ritchie in Capital in Capital Seminu Show Maxima, in other words. But but again, the consuls are here. That's, they know that a person can stand when they're not represented by an attorney because there's a fiduciary there, okay? Uh, there's a question in the, uh, uh, okay, the Islam nobility. Uh, I got an inbox. It says, what happens when the corporation sends your documents back? Is it still filed? 
Did they ever touch it? Did they ever touch it? It doesn't say, did they send it back? Did they ever touch the document? Okay, they're responsible for it. It is filed. And how do you know that they didn't make a copy of it? If it's, even if it's not opened, they're still responsible for it because they're a custodian. Custodians don't have the ability or the authority to say, oh, no, you can't do that if it's lawful, competent documents. Now, we have to be sure, more that we're not warring, okay? Uh, but again, it says it right here, even. And then it says also, um, let's look down a little further. Uh, let's go through it. May be required to file electronically only by court order or by a local rule that includes reasonable exceptions. We already know we're the court, so we determine how things are done. Uh, signing a filing made through a person's electronic filing account and authorized by that person. And again, persons cannot authorize anything. They have to have a fiduciary or they have to um, be a competent person. And persons are not competent. Okay. And that's why we're the fiduciaries for our, for the the, the persons that are the creditors in our vast estate. Because a person in our vast estate is not the same as a person, a dead person in the dead state. Okay? And then here, D, same as a written paper. A paper filed electronically is a written paper for purposes of these rules. Now, why do they say that? They say that because the written word has more authority than anything that's, that's uh, electronic. And when we write our sovereign autograph, that validates everything else, period. It even validated dead Federal Reserve debt notes. But it also, those things, what comes with that? Torture, jail misrepresentation and all of that fakeness. So that's why we have to do what we're doing now. And then here, this last one is very, 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 very important. Uh, all of them are, uh, but this one is really important. Let me make sure I put it on the screen high enough up here. It says acceptance by the clerk. Okay, now, who is the clerk? We're the clerk. All we're doing is sending stuff to our office. We all work from home, <laughs> and home being the land, and we're sending things to our office. So we're the clerk, and we are the ones who have the authority to accept or deny. Acceptance by the clerk. The clerk must not refuse to file a paper solely because it is not in the form prescribed by these rules or by a local rule of practice. There it is. That, that, that applies to our office. They work for us. So why, what gives them the authority to deny anything we say? Um, if, unless it's not competent. If it's not competent, they're going to follow our first rule, which says, do exactly as commanded by the law. The law is always competent. It will be the same yesterday, today, and forever. But if we venture outside the law or pretend to venture outside the law, then they'll say, no, you can't do that. And they won't even speak directly to us. They'll speak to a court and say, no, we can't do that, or a corporation, or a sovereign living corporation in this case. Because... When we raise them from the dead, they start speaking to the living corporations or corpus sanctum that we have, which is mentioned on the fiduciary document. So again, we had a, a, what, what could be termed an evil twin. Anything produced or generated by the United States Corporation Company, the dead one, because they have an evil twin too, or had one, 
we have to make sure that we clarify that this is coming from the sovereign living state and not from a dead state. So the stories of Yaqub and Esau and all of that, evil twin, good twin, living twin, dead twin. Okay. So that is federal rule for civil proceed for civil procedure, Title Two, Rule Five. And again, we have rewritten it, retitled it, rewritten it, adopted it, and put it into its proper status and its proper language and its proper format. Okay, so um, again, when we're talking about persons, we're not talking about us, and I know that's a thin line, uh, and that's why we, uh, when I say thin line, it's a thin line in the uh, overstanding of some more, not all more, so a lot of us get it. We know we're not anything on paper, but we also know that we have an estate that's manifested in this dimension that we have 100% access to and 100% right to. So um, let uh, are there any other questions before we take the vote on the document? And again, the document that we're voting on. Yeah, could today be here. Thank you. That is, was very clear. Huh? Is what? Yakub Ali here. That was very clear. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Islam. I'm relieved. Sure, <laughs> Islam. Islam. Make sure that uh, you put it on the uh, uh, the pyramid because they actually. T I got I got uh, Comcast. I mean I got uh, Microsoft and I got everybody. But every they are uh, when I go to conference call, they make sure I don't get in. You know they really do it like that. They told me they won't connect to the server. I was having only only and I, it's not the first time that happens. So. I'm on the phone right now, okay. so I can't see him. But make sure to, to mm -hmm. get on the. Uh, I'm listening you know, to the uh, on the okay, premiere. Okay, if you Sorry. want to, if you want to come in, I'll, I can I can unlock it for you to come in, Nobility. We'd like for you to be in on the boat. No, that's, that's not Let you. Me. They're doing it because they tell me I, okay. they won't reach the school. I have no problem getting with Google and nobody else. It's, it's not locked. They didn't say it's locked. They said it won't reach the server of the uh, free conference call. It's not the first time. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me let me say this about that. We listen. Please don't believe the numbers you see on these calls, because when I get the report, the report says there's hundreds of people on the call, and but they're coming in through back. There there's more than one line that leads to this call, so it's not going to show up in the count. So, uh, nobility, if you want to try uh, another number, let me give you another one because this thing called me from so many different places uh, today when I was trying to go out and come back in that out, I thought it was other people trying to call in, and some of it might have been. But the number yeah. that I'm calling on right now, Noble Frank, if you want to go, come in through this number. Oh, I'm in. I'm on I'm on Oh, you're in. Okay. Okay. All right. Nine nine six nine. I'm in, but I can't. I, okay. I can't see anything. Okay. So that's why I need and is that to make sure. And for me, I'm listening okay. hard. So when I do the premiere, I, I'm listening to everything you say. I'm gonna go over it then. Okay. Islam. Islam. All right. Thank you for letting us know, uh, nobility. Uh, so this is the mandamus writ that we just went over. Uh, it's, it's actually really a kind of short, uh, but, but the list is long of uh, providers, uh, not providers, but service servants. With a provider, there is a service. Uh, Empress AT and T Mobility includes Cricket Wireless is the second one on the list, by the way, Empress. Can you see it there? It's, you said, I believe you said Cricket Wireless. It's the second one on the list. Hopefully you can see it there. Let me just make sure it's on the screen. Yes. 
Islam. Okay. So, um, if we could, uh, are there any other questions or comments or anything that you see that, um, you know, that, that we need to change or update or anything on there, on this uh, document? Islam. Islam. Islam? Yes, Islam, we can hear you. Oh, oh. This is uh, Timothy Hassan Bay, Virginia Territory. Uh, is it the only way we can utilize the affidavit, sis? We have to have a card? Um, we have to have the national? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, now, let me just say this about the card. Can we use a printout? Just let, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. And, and, and then let's take that a few steps further. <clears throat> Um, if you have, um, uh, let's see, if you have a computer or if you have a library where you can go use a computer, take a, 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 a photo of your face and a copy of your right red thumbprint and, um, make an ID card for yourself and print it out because it's a printout that you're going to be giving them anyway. You're, you're not going to sh – you can show them your ID card, but they don't get to handle that like that. No. And, and then you, you can leave a copy with them of the ID card if you want to do that, you know. But they're going to be looking at copies anyway. And here's the thing. Their home office, their corporate office, rather, uh, will be getting a copy of this from us also. And, and then any more, if you see your provider there, send them a copy too, shoot them a copy. Using our mailing process that we put online, please don't use fiat to mail anything. Please. Now, again, remember, we're putting this on the public record today. It's dated for today, but it's not so tough and immediate and into perpetuity as well. So um, if you're a more and you have your name change in judicial proclamation, that, uh, Justice Timothy, uh, will, that, should be, that should be sufficient as well. Your, your, your name change in judicial proclamation should be sufficient. But it's all it's gonna be important to get ID. And you can make your own. You can make your own ID. Uh for those who who uh don't have ID, because we wanna make sure that we that we put everything out here so that everyone can take advantage of um, their rights, their sovereign rights. It's a sovereign right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my ID on the screen because that's normally what we do when we're illustrating things so that you can see how to do your ID too. And get it, just get it as close as possible, as close as you can, to make it, your ID look like, that, like, like this. It's, signed, it's autographed in red and all lowercase letters. Put the Moorish American, the, the Moorish government, Feel on here, uh, and I know that some have been using the. Uh, and, and there's there's an old seal that has that's in black and white. Uh, some have been using that. Um, you know that as long as you have more ID, then you know you're good, and you can make more ID, and make it make it look as close to this as possible. But if it's not exactly like this, that's still okay. And then if you have to wait to print it out to put your right red thumbprint, then just make the ID and then print it out, put your right red thumbprint, make as many copies as possible. You're good. I'm pretty sure everyone has at least one photo of themselves. Or the computer has a camera where you can take a photo of yourself sitting right there. It's, you know, um, it's, and make your ID. Islam, this I'm glad you did that because I have 
have a uh, portfolio that I'm doing. Okay. Yes. And this it's is not. Okay. I appreciate this. Mm -hmm. Sure. Now the anything for our nation. The match I will number do here. Anything. All right. That uh -huh. the numbers up there. I I can use those numbers. Correct. Just use everything. No. Just, um. Okay. No, don't use those numbers. Uh, okay. Just because this is my sovereign security All number. All right. Got you. You gotta use so use your sovereign security number. Okay. I got you then. And you can that's use MACW if you want to use it. Yes. Yes. That's if what that's called. MACW. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. And right. that's going to make the system match up. Ah. Because our system, yes, <laughs> that's going to make the system match up. Hmm. Mm. Now, when I say match up, the sovereign system is not the same as the dead system. That dead system is, is done. Okay? Now, if people are, again, making the system match up to the sovereign ancient system, in our sovereign ancient system, no one has a, a, um, in all lowercase letters, no one, and we, we showed that too. No one has a criminal record in all lowercase letters. And when our sovereign state is, is, is putting these things forth, when you use the fiduciary, and that's why the fiduciary document is so important, because the, the instruments on the fiduciary document are issued by the Empire State of Morocco. They're not issued by the United States Corporation Company, the court system. Okay? So the corpses can't use them. People say, you know, we're saying even about Delarium, you know, and I don't see you using blah, blah, blah. Well, as long as we put it in the treasury, then we can appropriate it from the treasury. Because our everything that we do has to be allodial and sovereign. So you should not be paying any fiat because that's not a real payment. It's not a real payment. But we have to do the demonstration. Okay? So, again, when I say match up, we're not even talking about a dead system that has all of those contracts and all of that stuff. Uh, because if that was the system we were working from, I wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here. So we had to demolish that. We had to. And then put the right system there. Okay? okay. Uh, and and, and that, that actually does away with those corporate, quote unquote, credit reports and all of that. That stuff can't even be used. We're the creditors. Period. We're the creditors. Yes. With everything included, everything included, up to ten thousand um, dollars for the first year, and each year after that. So, if there are some upgrades or things like that that need to be done in a year or two or whatever, then we'll get the upgrades too. Okay. See, what we didn't know, too, Morris, is that the resources that are on our land, all states can use them. All states can use them. But you have to be a state to use them if, if you can't be, and that's why everybody was thinking they were a citizen. Because there was a state that, a, a stateless state that was claiming them, a dead state that was claiming us. And even the dead state got some benefits, okay, but that's only because we were there. We thought we were there, rather, okay. But now that we are the living state and we know it, because we've always been the living state, but we needed to know it. Now that we know it uh, and we have done all of the things that, that we needed to do to come together as the state, and the government and the law. Now, and we set up our treasuries. We did all of that by vote. We put all of that on the public record. We have our own money and everything. Then we can appropriate the anything we need 
Anything we want, we can appropriate it. And that's what we're going to do. That's what states do. Okay. Um, and then also I'm going to put the back. The back of my ID says this. This is a, uh, and it does have an ancient English spelling on here. Uh, where is that ancient English word? Uh, it's in red and all lowercase okay, letters for one thing. Um, Americana as well as, uh, let's see, there was another word on here that was spelled in ancient English. And I know that that was by ancestral divinity, divine intervention, imbued as well. Um, let's see. Uh, north. North is, is spelled in ancient English. Our intention is, is, is also, um, uh, just as Yakub says, cellular with data included, let us spell unlimited data after the word 5G. Uh, let's look at that. Uh, let's see. Um, so it says here, uh, set benefit shall be appropriated in the sum amount. Uh, and actually, let's put our hereby appropriated in the sum certain amount of $10,000 or less per annum for each cellular phone, for each property identified, Al Moroccan, Moorish American, and for each of their subjects, which includes prepaid, highest quality, wireless cellular service, 5G and above. And uh, just as Yaku, you said, uh, with cellular data included, okay. Uh, does anyone have any objection to including with cellular data included uh, unlimited data being put into the document? Does anyone have any objection to that being put in the document? If you have an objection, uh, please speak now. I concur. Thank you, Justice Yaku. 5G. Uh, and above. Um, limited data. Karma. The highest quality cellular phone technology and all accessories to include all the placement services, insurance, and repairs. Um, okay. Um, is there anything else? Does anyone see anything else that needs to be added? Thank you, Justice Yaku. Very, very important. Anything else? Um, and hopefully I'm not missing anything in the chat. I'm trying to watch the chat and, um, and the letter of uh, the, the wording. Put these two documents in the chat. Uh, we are going to actually put the document um, under the video once we, this document will go under the video once we agree on it as a, uh, as a nation and as the state and as the Congress and the government and the Treasury and the IRS and all, all of that. We're all, we're all of that, the originals of all of that. Um, Okay, uh, so at this time, we're going to propose, uh, I, I propose a vote. Um, is there, can, can I get two, two seconds that we vote on it? So this is just to say, should we vote on it or not? Should we vote on it or not? Yes, let's vote on it. Let's vote on it. Uh, Islam, thank you. Do we want to put one minute also? Islam, say again. Do we want to put one minute in case you go somewhere else to a different country and you want to use a phone, you can use it without any problem? Yes, yes, it, it works. You're not in a different country. <laughs> and then different, you know, you know how it goes. When you go further, different parts of the land, you've got different. Yes. 
Wi-Fi. Yes. Get the block certain. Yeah. So you need to get. To now, stop. the justices that are in the, <laughs> on the other land that have water in between us and you, okay, it's still a maxim. But I would like to meet with you all uh, separately uh, on not this because again we're all this is for all of us. This is for your lands as well. But but uh, the, the only thing that I would really say in a separate meeting with you all is that, if, and I guess I can just say it now, is that um, that when these documents, when you get these documents, you edit them and tailor them to if you if the ancestors put anything on your heart that says, okay, let's make let's tailor this this way and tailor it that way, or Let's produce a second addendum to this document and put what we want to put on it. Please feel free to do so. Please, that's what I would have said in a in a, in a meeting. So I, I'll just say it here. Please feel free to do so. Uh, our justices at the UK territory and uh, uh, Trinidad and Tobago territory and French Guiana territory and uh, Thailand, Jamaica, uh, um, all of the territories. Feel free. When, we, when these documents come, to tailor them and edit them as needed on your land so that the more that are there can use them, okay? Yeah, and then publish them, them white and share them. It's fine. It's fine. You have complete authority to do that. Complete authority. Sovereign authority to do that. Uh, and, and when we vote on them here, it's good for everywhere because you're here and you're part of our nation. And even the more that are, that are not in the meeting, you, it would be a good idea if you did come to the meeting. Um, but, you know, it's good for, for all more. Okay. Uh, so the vote has been approved. So we'll go ahead and open the floor for uh, first for the I. Now, the reason we say we're saying I is because of the I that's at the top of the pyramid. So I means yes, okay, and nay means no, okay. And when we say I, we spell it e y e. I means yes, and nay means no. So we'll first open the floor for the I, and then we'll we'll open the floor afterwards for the name. Okay, and it might even be uh, a good idea. Yeah, let's open the floor for the I first, the yeses first. Uh, at this time, we'll open the floor for voting uh, for those who are in favor of the document being placed on the public record and enforced by the state. Virginia Territory, aye. If you would speak clearly, please. Go ahead and please. Cynthia Ann Bay, Kalisa Territory, aye. Yes, Mr. Green. Aye. What territory was that? Empress, the Empress that just spoke. What territory was that? Georgia territory. Georgia. Yes. Islam. Thank you, Empress. Appreciate it. Go ahead, nobility. I apologize. She El there. Toronto territory. Yes, Egypt. What territory again, please, uh, Chief? Toronto. Toronto? Yeah, Islam. Canada. Thank you, Chief. Canada. AJB, yes. Toronto Canada. territory. Islam, thank you, Noble uh, Justice uh, uh, Eddie J. Bay. Thank you. We have you. And Justice uh, Sheik uh, from Canaan Land Territory, we have you as well. Continue. Islam. 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 Uh, there was an empress. Go ahead, empress. Islam. 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 Carla. 
sorry. Islam, Islam Angel Bay Swamp Omax Providence. Okay. Islam Carla from Virginia Territory. Go ahead. I Virginia Territory. Yes. Fairfax Carla. Islam. Islam. Yes, Islam. I yes. Islam. Justice Malik Akil Bay, Illinois Territory. Aye. Islam. 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 Washington State okay. Territory. Islam. Islam. Muglusa Ashaka Allah Bay, Swamp Omak Province. Yay. Islam. Islam. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Islam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Islam, a kill or can it be L? I said. Go ahead, nobility. Yeah. Uh, Justice, uh, Justice Akil, what territory again, please? Which one? It faded out, faded out for the record. Akil Kenebi Bay. Akil Kenebi, easily L, Philadelphia Territory. Yay. Philadelphia Territory. Islam. Did you hear me? I don't know. Yes, we heard you, Nobility. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Carolyn Linda Wiggins, Hill, Alabama Territory. Tanzania, Alkiyama, El Bay, Wampumak, Province, Yay. Islam. Islam, Dawood huh? Bilal, Ibn Yusuf El Abdullah Bay, Swampomak Territory, Aye. Islam. Islam, Aye, Musa Zubay, Memphis, Tennessee Territory. Islam. Islam, <clears throat> Willie Irvin Smith Bay, Mississippi Territory, I. Islam, thank you, no ability. Uh, in the Kamal chat, Bay. Yes. Go ahead, is, no is, is, Islam. Kamal Bay, I'm here in the um, uh, Washington Republic, in the uh, Tri-Cities Territory. Islam, and then yay or I. <laughs> some are saying yay and some are saying I. <laughs> Islam. Uh, Justice Messiah Bay, Boston Territory, has voted in favor in the chat. Uh, and let me just move my. Okay. Uh, Justice Stone Bay at UK Territory has voted in favor. Uh, and Justice Morley Bay at UK Territory has voted in favor. Uh, let's see. Um, and I believe, let me make sure that I have everyone. Uh, Michael Doom has voted. Uh, let me just make sure I see the home. Justice McGee Bay, yes, has voted in favor as well at Mississippi Territory. Islam, Bonnie Bay, in the Territory of Washington, I vote A. Uh, state, state your appellation again, Avery. Bonnie Bay. Yes, Islam. Islam. Islam Empress. Glad to have you on the call. <laughs> okay. Islam Empress. Sharif Bay, California Territory voted uh, <clears throat> I. Islam. Thank you, Nobility. Khalifa. Yes. Islam. Uh, Justice Yakub 
in the Maryland territory in the chat has voted in favor. Uh, Um, let me make sure that I don't miss anyone. Justice Morpheus, Maryland Territory. Justice Kansu, UK Territory. Okay. Uh, Justice Mitchell Bay. Uh, yes, this is Mr. Bay. That's this is um Okay. Um, this is Jade Michael, Illinois Territory. Uh, I believe we have everyone. Yes, we can do. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, Virginia Territory, Khalifa Territory, Georgia Territory, Toronto, Canaanland Territory, which is all of Canaanland for us, uh, Illinois, uh, Guampomic Territory, uh, Virginia Territory, Washington Territory, uh, Philadelphia Territory, Alabama Territory. Tennessee Territory, uh, Massachusetts Territory, Mississippi Territory, uh, UK Territory, uh, and there are several from each one of the territories there. If your territory uh, is not presented here, it still does apply to your territory as well. So um, because it applies to all land, because we are all more. Maryland Territory as well. Uh, so now uh, I believe we have all of those in favor. So if there are any more who are not in favor of this document going on the public record, uh, we will, if you could, star six to unmute yourselves and, um, and speak freely on the public record. Islam. Okay. Uh, so we have a unan another unanimous vote uh, going on the public record. Pull to it is it. This is now law. Uh, just one moment. One moment. So the placement of this public service proclamation and law on the public record, it is this mandamus writ public cellular phone service appropriation proclamation. The number is 999-99-9999-42030. Uh, said appropriation is now placed on the public record. It is the law. This sovereign justice stands as law. The people have voted. Islam. So uh, that is all we have for tonight. We're going to uh, put this into the uh, mail stream, our sovereign mail stream tomorrow. Uh, and we'll give you the tracking numbers so that you can track it as well. Uh, the Sovereign Postmaster will be delivering as well. And we use our same, uh, same mailing process where we don't use fiat to mail anything. And, uh, but 
this is already the law, and um, these numbers that, that have already been received can be used uh, in your documents as well, any other documents where you're further putting this forth, uh, because notification has already been given with regard to all that we're doing. So, uh, and then again, this is the listing, and we already have uh, witnesses with the lower courts and um, those that are, uh, if necessary, for the custodians to, uh, to witness. They've already witnessed and are, um, and we have uh, what we need from them, okay, in terms of subjects and custodians. And again, we didn't need anything from them, but we wanted it on here uh, uh, anyway. So, uh, because because we put some processes in place, and we want to honor our processes. Okay. With that being said, are there any other questions, comments, um, anything of that nature? Uh, this, uh, uh, can you hear me? Uh, we can. It's a it's a, a staticky line, but we can hear you. Uh, Empress Light, uh, I'm wondering, uh, would it be okay to communicate with the Empress out here in California? Maybe she could help me a little bit. You know, I don't want I don't want her to do it for me. I just might need a little help. Um, that's solely her at her discretion. She has the authority to say yay or nay on that. So. Uh, Okay, well, I'd like to talk to her if I could. I don't, I don't know who she is. Okay. Um, and this is just the Sharif? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, is the Empress, any, any, any of the Empresses, uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Islam, yes. Yeah. What type of help? Uh, probably with this Islam? document right here. Um, probably with this document right here. Maybe, I mean, you know, go over and uh, explain it to me again. I'll read it, and, you know, uh, something that I don't quite understand about it. Maybe you could uh, explain it to me. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm the one to do that at this particular point in time. Yeah. Uh, I haven't um, it myself. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is, 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 I'm going to decline right now. Uh, okay. Because I need a little time to think about it. All right. So, uh, yes, Islam. I'm always on the call, so Islam. Okay. Yeah. Islam. Um, are there any questions about the document? You know, is there anything that we can assist you with? Uh, no, I'm... Um, uh, that you feel my, comfortable uh, asking? Hmm? Oh. Uh, I'm, uh, no, I'm um, now, I'll say this. Go ahead. Go ahead, Nobility. No, uh, go ahead. I'm done. Okay. Um, I'll say this about the documents that we're putting on the public record. Uh, you may not understand each and every word in them. We know we have done some extensive, extensive, extensive study, extensive study. Okay. So I will say this, and this is something that that those who did not want us standing do not want us to do. Okay. Uh, there is a certain amount of trust in my study and in the ancestral energies that guide us um, that for those who, who may not understand the document word for word have to have in me. I know that. I'm aware of that. 
Um, I'm not asking anyone for blind trust because, you know, we don't operate that way. We always say demonstrate at the level of your overstanding. And so um, we're not asking for blind trust, but uh, we know that there is a certain amount of trust as far as the terminology is concerned uh, and things like that, that that those who, who may not overstand the document word for word have to have in us. And uh, we honor that trust, and we, we will never uh, break that trust, ever break that trust in the fact that, you know, and then we say also trust, but verify. Verify the terminology. Look at the word. And uh, even if the word is written in ancient English, uh, put the root word to the pet, to your pet and look that root word up and look up words that are similar to it because sometimes it'll be maybe not the root word itself but other words that are similar. Look at words that are pronounced the same such as synonyms and homonyms and things like that so that you know, so that you gain a better understanding of each and every word. We know that we've done some extensive study. We were meant to do extensive study. And I'm not saying that anyone who does not understand hasn't done extensive study. We just we know you have, or you would not be here. <laughs> um, but we're at, we we appreciate the trust that voting on a document that you know maybe there's a word or two, or maybe a, a concept or two in the document that, that you may not have a full grasp on. But the basic uh, and overall overarching meaning of the document is so that we can access the vast estate, but that's the case with everything that we do. Everything that we have done has been so that we access the vast estate. And I am doing these demonstrations right along with you. Okay. So um, I just want to, um, and this, that's for everyone. That's not just, that's, that's, uh, this, that's a general statement that I, that I feel it's necessary to put on the public record that, um, you know, when I first uh, nationalized and I saw the affidavits that, you know, that are on the different websites and the different, you know, things that we had to demonstrate, I didn't overstand everything completely like I do today, and, and I'm still, you know, we're still, we're never going to stop studying. Um, but I knew that the foreigners were not going to wait to test us. We were being tested as we nationalized. When we, you know, they don't wait on the side of the road for you to pull out a dictionary and start looking things up. They just pull over and start doing court actions on people. You know, they don't wait to, 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 pull folks in and tell them you have to have a mask and you got to do this and you got to do that. And so, you know, we think that it's important to go ahead and get these actions on the public record, get them done, and, you know, we appreciate the trust, that that small amount of trust that you have. And when I say small, I'm not minimizing the trust, but what I'm saying is your study is first and foremost, and the ancestral energies within you is your first authority. Okay? So we know that, and that's why I say the small amount of trust, because your first knowledge is, is much larger than anything that we can ever say or do. But we appreciate it, and we honor that trust, and we are doing everything to our highest honor and our best ability to put these documents forward because we have to. We must proclaim and access this vast estate and that's not going to wait for us any longer. We've waited a hundred and something, 200, 300, 400 years depending on whose version of that story you hear. You know. Okay. So, um, One other question. Uh, you said yes. uh, you said file it, uh, take it to the clerk's office, right? That's the county clerk? Yes. It's so, um, 
the question, what is your question about the county clerk? I'm saying we're uh, the clerk. What, we're the county clerk. Exactly asking what level to to uh, uh, of court should I to what uh, what level of uh, 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 record should I uh, file them? The county, the state, federal. Um, so know that your court is the first court that has to have it on the record, and then you can you can deliver it or mail it to the county court. Okay, which is, that's any court. It doesn't matter what court. Yeah, it doesn't matter what court you send it to. The county court is more is is uh more. It's older than the others. Okay. Okay. Islam. Yeah. Islam. Thank you. Uh, Islam. And then also Morris, just in general, Morris, um, you know, uh, if you want to send it to those that were doing business as a Supreme Court, you can, but we're the Supreme Court. So, you know, uh, the purpose in doing that would probably be to, to uh, retroactively uh, address any issues that you may have taken to them previously. Excuse me, but you know we're the we're the Supreme Court. So if you want to notify them, it's okay to notify them. But they're still inferior to us, you know, in terms of court. We're the highest yeah. court on the land. Yeah, just fine. Thank you for your question, nobility. Is no. Islam? Islam? So there's a question in the chat that says, Islam Empress, which, let me see, uh, it says, which document do we use for domicile? All of them. All of them. All of them. And then you uh, appropriate the, the domicile, all of them. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, those type demonstrations as well. Um, Justice Morley, you asked also, you said uh, uh, about that U.S. Army dot Pentagon, et cetera. That is the provost marshal's uh, uh, that, that we put in the chat is the provost marshal's email address. And uh, I will say this about that, and I said this earlier, that that is the email address for now, okay? Uh, and and actually, he, that will remain a notification email, but ultimately we we will have our own provost. We have our own provost marshal because in reality we're the provost marshal already, and that's just an office. That's just an office, and we actually have to speak that way because that office will do as commanded as well when they hear from the real provost marshal. And the real provost marshal is each and every one of us. Uh, by the way, now that you mentioned that, uh, we hereby command that uh, 
those custodians who are in our office, our provost marshal office, that you do what is necessary to ensure that peaceful um, peaceful actions are taken with regard to each and every proclamation that we have ever put on the public record, each and every law that we voted on, that those laws are acted, actioned properly. So uh, we've spoken now on the public record to the uh, custodians who are in, in our, our provost marshal office. So, um, and they, they will do as commanded when, when spoken to competently by a sovereign affidavit, and affidavits are spoken as well. So, um, Islam. with that being said, are there, yes, Islam, no better. Islam, this is uh, Timothy Hassan, Bay of Virginia mm -hmm. Territory. Would, could you add also the uh, Consulate uh, Bureau Affairs also respond? Um, I'm not sure I understand what you're asking. Well, you, you, you gave a command to the provost marshals, right? By the court. Say, oh, say, right? Please say it one more time. You gave a command to the provost marshal through the mm -hmm. article of the court, right? Yes. I was suggesting, could you also... And wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Let me clarify that. Let me clarify that. I gave a command to the custodians in okay. the office of the provost marshal. We have to make that clarification or they will not <laughs> do as commanded. They will not do it because they know they're not the provost marshal. We are. Go ahead, nobility. We also have the, uh, it's the U.S. Bureau of Consular Affairs that's also are you aware of them? I am aware of the custodians in that office, but yes. we are the Bureau of Consular Affairs. Okay. We're it. Yeah. They're custodians. In, they're, they're in our office. Right, right. That's yes, what I'm I was aware. suggesting, that the custodians yes. as well. Yes. Islam. 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 They're all custodians, and we have to... Uh, and the reason why that's important, nobility, is we must correct how we speak to them so that we will we will see the uh, results of our demonstration. We must speak to them properly. We must. They know they don't have any authority, but they're custodians. We're the real authority. Islam, I you? Islam, yes. Islam. Thank you for that, nobility. Islam. Thank you. Islam nobility. Yeah, um, I had a question uh, about uh, when it comes to the rally numbers and the count numbers for trying to, I guess, open up. Can you speak up just a little bit, nobility? Um, yeah, I was calling about um, the rally numbers and account numbers. How do we get or obtain routing numbers and account numbers for opening up the bank accounts for the delirium. Okay. So routing number and account number. The account number is going to be your sovereign security number. Understood. The account number is your sovereign security number. The routing number is the number for the U.S. Treasury, and it's not even the U.S. Treasury, that's, it's just the Treasury. The Treasury, treasure, the Treasury Direct Account routing number. But that number has to be in red, and everything around it must be in its proper format, in, in capital Simonusio Nolo, in red ink, et cetera, when you're speaking to them. And then you can speak to them first in red, then in blue. 
So how how do I get this, this that number though? Uh, so do you know what your sovereign security number is? Yeah, I, I know. That's, everyone that's the, everyone should know what their sovereign security number is. That's the account number, right? Yeah. I was I was okay. Yeah. Now I'm referring to the uh, routing number. You can you know you can you can Google it, but I'll but I'll just for the sake of uh, this uh, this uh, meeting, I'll go ahead and put it on the on the uh, um, on the screen. Uh, just one moment. Okay. Uh, let me put that on the screen. Um, there it is. Okay. Uh, if you look on the screen, it says Treasury Direct Routing Number. It doesn't say U.S. Treasury Direct Routing Number because that's not what it is. It's Treasury Direct routing number, okay? And this one is, is, is at treasurydirect.gov. That's where the number came from. Um, and we put it in red. And then we put it in blue. Uh, it's important to make those distinctions so that, that, that we go to the, the Treasury and not try and get something from a U.S. Department of the Treasury office, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's not, that's not real. The real one is us, Islam. And for Islam, those who are on the phone, that routing number is 051-736-158, Islam. 051-736-158. It's on. Thank you. You're welcome. It's on. Uh, let me see if I can get a zero 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 five one. Okay. One uh, zero five one seven three six. One five eight. Islam. Yeah, thank you, is uh, Empress. That, that's, that's You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I want you all to know that I will do anything for us. <laughs> anything. Doesn't even matter what it is. <laughs> anything lawful. Let me put it that way. Uh, okay. So Sorry. if there is, are there, are, are there any other questions or comments, Islam? <clears throat> yes, Empress Light, this is Carla from Fairfax. Just want to let you know we yes. truly appreciate you. Islam, Empress, I appreciate you even more if that's possible. I can't really do it, but if it's possible. It's no. Islam, my friend. Yeah, Take care of Carla. Give her that testimony. Mm -hmm. um, it's great to have a great interest that you're um, helping this great empire our, our great nation is raised and raised and run by our interests who created peace and love and joy in, in, on this earth and in the heavens for man and his our strength and his fruit we give thanks to your interest that's it no other answers and bless it we have to all life if you are fruitful, maybe I'll be fruitful. We will let all be prosperous, I should. Ah. Islam, please. Thank you, Islam. And Virginia Territory, I agree with you, brother. Islam. Ooh, Islam. Uh, Thank you. It was like, uh, yes, what, it was what, Okay, why were you guys discussing the tax, uh, the, the routing number? What was that for? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the that's the routing number that we for for all of the um, 
the account of each of the moors, uh, each moor has an account. Okay. That is set up. Yeah. And that so way, every, whenever... Mm -hmm. Is this the uh, number that all of us would use? That is the routing number that all should use. That is the routing okay. number that all should use. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, and, and if you go, go back to some of the other videos, um, you'll see where I put that routing number on my DeLarium when I was uh, getting my DeLarium. Some of my DeLarium printed oh. up has that routing number on it as a treasury routing number. Okay. 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 Uh, and, yeah, Islam. And then that number along with your sovereign security number is your account number and routing number. So you're a bank in and of yourself, okay? So your the, sovereign security okay. number goes with that number. So the, and so that would that be routing number. security number without that, right? It is, uh, you could say that for simplicity's sake. You could say that for simplicity's sake. Uh, it's wrong. Okay. Security number, is that our MAC number? Uh, just one moment. There's two empresses speaking. Uh, the first empress that said Islam, if you'll say something, if you go ahead and then empress, uh, the, the, uh, the additional empress can speak afterwards. I was asking if the, um, a sovereign security number, is that the MAC number? Uh, the sovereign security number is not the MAC number. The MAC number is a consular number. It's a consulate number. Okay, because some people don't feel comfortable yet, you know, uh, with the information that has come forth about the sovereign security number. Um, the so so the so the uh, just one moment, please. The MAC number is just one moment. Uh, there's a little bit of noise coming from someone's line. If you'll start six. That will help us. Okay. Uh, so the uh, the the MAC number is a consulate number. It's issued by the consulate. The sovereign security number is issued by the government and the state, which is us. Each one of you. So the state, the Empire State of Morocco, issue my sovereign security number, and that sovereign security number is on my ID card, and that's the number that I use to get my benefits. Um, and so uh, a consular number is, is different from that. I do have uh, a Moorish American consulate number. Um, I find that I'm having more use and more success with my sovereign security number with M-A-C-W in red and all lowercase letters in front of it. No dashes. There are no minus signs in our sovereign security number. So how, where do we None. get those numbers from? The sovereign security number is, is, is for, the, for the sake of simplicity, it is the same sequence of numbers as a social security number. But it is not the same number, just like a negative nine in your account is not the same as a positive nine in your account. Okay. Make up so our a sovereign security number is is the same sequence of numbers as a as a social security number. But it's not the same number. It's in red and it's a creditor number. So in every accounting and in every science, there's something going one way and then there's something coming back the other way that's on the same route, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And so with with credit with debits or debtors, things are going out. With creditors, things are coming in. Same it's it's similar routing except it's a different line. So it's it's like A C D C or currency. Okay. Current, current going out is a debtor. So debtors always they they're constantly putting out. That's a those are minuses. 
that's debt. And we don't have any debt. So we have to have a creditor number that puts Libra energy on all that we just came through. So Okay. And, yeah. So for example but with different, Go ahead, Empress. Would it be our social security number but with different um hyphens in different places? Okay, yes. Yes, but let me explain that to you. Let me put it let me put it on the screen the way it should be. Okay. Mm-hmm. For example, and most of you already know this uh about me, so I'm just gonna put it out here anyway again. Because I put it on the public record myself. Just one moment. Okay, so this is a social security number. This was uh, the number that I thought I was getting benefits from when I thought I was a citizen. And let me just let me just properly note this because it has to be noted properly. This is what makes it a social security number or a debtor number. Okay, that's a social security number in all capital letters, black ink, et cetera, it's a debtor number. Okay, so now, once I did a court action, once I did a court action, and then I said, okay, this number and the nom de guerre that went with it is to go to jail. I sent them to jail and decapitated them and removed them from office. So then what happened is uh, our government said, okay, well, now, and our government is, you know, each more is it governs their own vast estate, okay? So then our government came in and said, okay, we, we've done good. We, we leaned it. This thing here, this monster, we leaned it. We did everything we were supposed to do. Terminated all corporate contracts with it. We did everything. We did a court action on it, all of that. So those were the three things that we did. We leaned it, we did a court action, and we terminated all corporate contracts with this number. That's what we did. And then our government said, okay, you did good. You you got rid of the, the dead debt and death, okay? So now you have to put something in its place that is living. So what did we do? We said, okay, let's have our sovereign security number be here. And so now this is this is the sovereign security number. This is my sovereign security number. Uh, it has plus sign. You can do it with plus signs. You can do it with no sign at all. And you can even put it with no spaces if you want to. Okay, this is my sovereign security number. Oh, my goodness. Is it not on the screen? Okay, uh, just one moment. Let me go back. I apologize. <laughs> I'm, I'm busy trying to answer the questions. I apologize. Okay. Uh, Let me just make sure. Okay, let me go back. All right. So this this was the debtor social security number right here. I apologize. Forgive me, please. Uh, This was the debtor social security number right here that we leaned it we terminated all corporate contracts and we did that by sovereign court action. Okay. And then we leaned the United States Corporation Company and all of that is on the public record 
Uh, you all have seen those documents and, and, and you've seen the court action, most of you. If not, uh, it's at Light to Jury Bay page on YouTube. And so once we lean this thing that was created by the corpses, okay, then what did we do? Our government said, okay, you did good. You removed the corporate covering off of your benefit, okay? But a creditor conveyance method must be there so that now that the credit can come in. And so this is the creditor number, okay? So, again, this is the debtor number that we did away with. Mm -hmm. This is my sovereign security number right here. Okay. Okay. And I can put this number in blue or black because of the fiduciary document, as long as it does not have these brackets right here. We don't want these de death brackets right here. This okay. and this. Those brackets. Don't put those brackets because that's a casket. It's a casket. It means death, dead, okay? So this is my sovereign security number, and every more already has one. Doesn't matter what color it is that you put it in because of the fiduciary document, okay? Okay. And this way you can get your benefits that you need. And then if you look back again at, um, and I'll just show this once more uh, for those who may have may not have been uh, uh, this is the, this is the fiduciary document that talks about, you know, us and our ability to use these credit conveyance methods because we've leaned and done away with anything corporate like this, United States Corporation Company, all this debt, the debt, the debt instrument. These are all debt instruments. It says we are without these. Okay. The things in black and all of that with, with the debtor, uh, notation. And then, uh, just one moment, let me, let me put, put on the screen what I'm saying here. Uh, so, just one moment. Uh, Okay, and so um, on the screen, you should see my ID card. There's my sovereign security number in the upper right corner, right here, with MACW. So now the correct creditor instrument has been issued by our government. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, um, and, 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 that is how we get our benefits. Because, see, we thought we were getting benefits before, but we really were just kind of like contracting and enslaving ourselves when we were dealing with the United States, Corp the dead United States Corporation Company. Okay. So, um, and then uh, let me want more with the fiduciary documents. I want to make sure that we put that on the screen as well so that you can see where we have properly put everything in its proper state. It needed to be in its proper state, okay? Uh, and so we put everything in its proper state, okay? So uh, with that being said, are there any other questions or comments? Listen. We we were not going to stay enslaved another fifty or a hundred years. We just that just was not going to be the case if 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 all of us had anything to do with it. And we do, you know. We just needed to state up, is what we say. We needed to be in our proper state and status and estate to get the benefits that we deserve, you know. Hello, so, um, Islam. Go ahead, nobility. <clears throat> yeah, in 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 the UK, we we have letters as well as numbers. 
um, in the security. Put, put the mode. letters. So put them just like uh, for your sovereign security number. You would put those letters in lowercase letters and in red. Okay. I yield. And that will be your sovereign security number. Yes. Okay. Is that? Um, that's a creditor number that, and and you all, we have not. This is today is like the first day that we're really using our credit. We have so much credit out there, and we've not we've not used it. Is that? Is that? As social insurance insurance number, slave insurance, slave insurance number, social. So that's really keeping back me. That's how they make their commerce. Exactly as yes. you say. That's the way they make their commerce, right. and this is how they keep me trapped in their um in their courts and keep me dead. Because um, yep. If you want to raise from the dead, we need to carry an open mind, an open our mind and our third eye, to accept the thoughts from their ancestors and the energy from the universe. To be tuned with yep. the universe. To be tuned with the as we say, our tree, the Holy Trinity. You know, as it goes, man, spirit, and body. Yeah. Ours breath. Yeah, so yeah. ours is great teaching. We need some more young people to really get involved, so our nation can really grow and raise up. So we need we need some of these or some of the elders and the, on the call to you know invite the kids and the grandkids and the you know not, not kids but kids. Sorry, children that were yeah. kids. <laughs> but yeah. the fruits, in fact, their fruits, their young fruits, to, um, taking some of the essence of wisdom and knowledge that so they can grow as, as, a, as a fruitful tree, not as a yeah. tree of destruction. Yeah. What's going on at this time? So, we need the elders to encourage the fruit, the young fruits, to come and take in some of the waters so they can grow in the nourishment on this yeah. life. I heal. It's not. It's not. Yeah. See, um, the system is already set up for us, okay? We we put the system in place. And all the hybrids did was just come along and hypothecate it. That's all. That's all they did was come along and hypothecate it. Okay? And so... They, that's why they keep talking about the story of Yaqub and Esau being twins, and one of the twins stole the birthright by fraud. He made himself appear to be. He put fur on his arm, so when his blind father gave the blessing, he you know a you know he gave it to someone by trickery. Okay, well. That's not valid in natural law in terms of trickery. You, you can't trick your way into this. You actually have to be the real heir. And so the real heirs have uh, are standing and declaring our vast estate. But see, he couldn't have tricked uh, Isaac, his father, if he didn't, if he wasn't very similar. So he went out and got you know, made his arm hairy, you know, and all of that, and faked it. He couldn't have tricked him. But even after he did that, and his father Isaac spoke those words over him, he was able to use it for a little while, but he had to go to a foreign place to even use it. And all types of havoc came from that, you know, from the trickery. And the real heir still has everything that real heirs should have. Because, see, they don't tell you the rest of the story about Esau and how Esau's estate grew beyond belief, just grew beyond belief and outpaced his, because he was the real heir of the, of the true blessing. His estate stood above, far above anything that the 
the evil twin could have ever done. So now I'll tell you this, the ones who are the recipients of Yaku who who fooled Isaac to get Esau's estate, the ones who are the recipient of that, they're the only ones who've been telling the story. So they talk about that and they say they're the heirs of, you know, all of that. You haven't heard Esau's story, but you're about to hear it from the air, the real air. And then think further about Yakubian experiment. We could talk about that another day. <laughs> do, your, do your research on that. Not the real air. Air to a degree, but not not the original real air of the, the vast estate. So with that being said, are there any other questions or comments or anything with regard to uh, what we've done today? Thank you so much, Congress members. <laughs> Heirs to the vast estate, executors, trustees, claimants, beneficiaries, executors, ministers, Thank you, thank you, thank you. We needed to come together. We needed to make this happen. And we needed to do it right away. This year is the year for that. Okay. And that is, this is going to determine, and it does not really determine it because our, our, our estate is set in stone. Set. It's not going anywhere. Everything that can be shaken has been shaken and it'll fall away. It has fallen away and it will continue to do so. Ours is eternal, eternal, eternal. Uh, Shake Klein of Canaan Land, I did see your question in the chat. The answer is yes, with regard to us connecting by phone. Yes, thanks. Thank you so much. Sarah, can I give you my Bye. number now, or um, can I text it in this chat, or should I send my email? Uh, here's my here's my number in the chat. I'll put it in the chat for you. Um, I must say, this, from this class, I grew so much from this class, listening and so much knowledge. Uh -oh. I listen to it by myself most of the time, though, it's, and it's so I, great. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Go ahead. I said Thank from this well. class, I grew so much knowledge, I listen to it by myself on it most of the time. I'm so glad that I find you know, a group of people that are glad enough. It's our mobility. Try to go on for this more than once, but... That is difficult. I mean, I lost when you get off the um, phone, it's hard to get back on on the chat. Oh, go ahead. Um. Let me have the uh, number. Yes, uh, it's 334. Three, three, go ahead. Uh-uh. So, 334. Three, that's the number. Three three four. Three three four. Two nine mm-hmm. Two nine four. What was that? Two nine four. Uh-huh. Nine eight two eight. I can't help call this number. Can you see the screen, Nobility? Yeah. Okay, uh, I will put it there. Yeah, it was very, um, I don't know if there's any, any other thing that we can do to help me prove from this side <laughs> in Canada, but, um, I can, Canada land, Canada land, but, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're here. We're here. Yeah. So I'm trying. I'm going to be part of this council. We appreciate your, your demonstration, nobility. Uh, Say, Klein, we appreciate that you're even here on the call. We're, yeah. As we are with all, all the boys, we appreciate 
everyone being here. Gift thanks. Uh, because we needed to do this, we really do. Yeah, As us. There's great reason for this for people this way. It's wrong. It's wrong. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Uh, if there's nothing further, we will go ahead and uh, adjourn here until um, either Sunday or Thursday. I will post whether we're going to have a Sunday call on. Saturday. I usually post it late Saturday night. Uh, so by Sunday morning, you'll know if we're going to have a call this coming Sunday. And then um, we will definitely, as usual, meet on Thursday for sure. Ms. Mom. All right. With that being said, yes, I will post it on Facebook, uh, Nobility, Peace and Brand Rising to the Sovereign, Original, Indigenous, Master Divine Air. Ms. Mom. Yeah. Peace and Grand Rising. Peace and Grand Rising. Peace and Grand Rising. Islam. 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 Thank you, nobility. Islam, family. Islam. Thank you. Peace and love, everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome, nobility. Thank you, Empress. Um, Islam light. Can you hear me? Can you hear me?